third in the voting last season. Dark, hammer, three Sky players coming over. And I'm telling the official is pointing to, this, to his head here, and I think they're going to look at this to review it. The foul, I believe, to Angel Reese. Yep, across the head, and they will go to the monitor to review this. I've been watching basketball for a long time, and I don't know if I have seen a player-on-player -player rivalry like this. I mean, Jordan had the Pistons, but that was more of a team thing. The Cavs and the Warriors were also elite. But I don't know if I have ever witnessed a rivalry quite like this one. This one has some Hollywood-type movie script stuff going on with it. I mean, this is Batman and Joker. This is Superman and Lex Luthor. This is like Happy Gilmore and Shooter McGavin type of rivalry. And this thing goes way back like chiropractic. I mean, they have been competing since ARU. I love Caitlin. We've been competing since we were in AAU. I mean, AAU days, we've always competed. I remember she was at all Iowa Tech. This rivalry has got people talking. I mean, ticket sales and endorsements has gone up because of these two players. But their recent game was so intense with incredible performances from Caitlin Clark. But the flagrant foul on Caitlin by Angel Reese is the major talk of the day. And this is not the first time she's been hit like this. Kennedy Carter once did this. New reaction after this controversial foul on Caitlin Clark. Unnecessary. Clark's Indiana Fever taking on the Chicago Sky on Saturday. The Sky's Kennedy Carter hitting a shot, then heading over to Clark and shoulder checking her. The refs called it a common foul, but the league yesterday upgraded the call to a flagrant foul. But let's give context to what happened in the game. Stay with us till the end of the video. Leah Boston had four blocks in that win against Minnesota and a career high 16 rebounds. Turnabout is fair play right 16. there. Allen missed the opportunity for a three point play. Baseline, nice move by Boston, count it! Obviously wanting this team to be keenly aware of the screening action in this Beaver offense. Got to look there at Christy Sides, like Coach Trammell in her second year, and there's Nalissa Smith finishing. And Ward, Monica McNutt, Angel Gray with you. Last game before the Olympic break in the entire WNBA as Dantas gets... Caitlin through the lane. Boston from long range. Aaliyah Boston hits her seventh three of the season. Clark trying to shake free Mabry all over. Here is Clark. Clark separating, taking, and hitting Caitlin Clark with a difficult look from deep. Keep your eye on in this matchup on the bigs inside. Aaliyah Boston, Camilla Cardoso, of course they played with one another in college, but they go at one another in this matchup. And Kennedy Carter so smooth in the mid-range. Starting lineup put back in after the injury to Temi Thag Benley has really found her footing over the last four or five games. Reese the deep catch and the finish. Now, Caitlin Clark keeps surprising by breaking and setting incredible records, like the one she did against Dallas Wings, where she made 19 assists in a single game. Her arch rival and nemesis, Angle Reese, has had some stellar performances as well. Now, pay attention. The rivalry between Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese started long before they set foot on WNBA courts. Their clashes date back to their AIU days. Both players are fierce competitors with very different styles, and their on-court battles have always drawn attention. I think so many people are watching women's basketball right now. Yeah. It all started from the national championship game, and I've been dealing with this for two years now. And understanding, like, yeah, negative things have probably been said about me, but honestly, I'll take that because look where women's basketball is. People are talking about women's basketball that you never would think that we'd be talking about women's basketball. People are pulling up to games. We got celebrities coming to games, sold out arenas, like just because of one single game. And just looking at that, like I'll take that role. I'll take the bad guy role and I'll continue to take that on and be that for, the, for my teammates. And if I want to be that, and I know I'll go down to history, I'll look back in 20 years and be like, yeah, the reason why we watching women's basketball is not just because of one person, it's because of me too. And I want y'all to realize that. Clark, who was known for her playmaking and sharp shooting, frequently faced off against Reese, whose aggressive defense and physicality defined their encounters. As they made the move to the professional league, the tension between them only grew stronger as each game carried the weight of their shared past. There's a tangible sense of excitement and expectation every time Clark and Reese square off. 
We followed the development of their rivalry, aware that every game could yield a pivotal moment a moment that captures their unwavering quest for greatness. Tensions were high in the last game between Indiana Fever and Chicago Sky. It was clear that Caitlin Clark was dominating the game with her sharp shooting and precise playmaking. As the third quarter progressed, Clark made a powerful drive toward the basket until this. Angel Reese came from nowhere to swung her arm in an abrupt and startling attempt to stop Clark. Reese's arm hit Clark squarely in the head rather than the ball causing a tremor throughout the arena. That was so harsh, the game was immediately stopped by the referees as they assessed the situation. After examining the action, it was evident that the event was more serious than initially thought when the collision was ruled a common foul. Because of Reese's conduct, the officials raised the foul to a flagrant one. The moment was replayed in slow motion, emphasizing the force of the collision and creating uncertainty about whether Reese made a serious mistake or acted on purpose. This caused the crowd to erupt in tense excitement. Clark was remarkably calm in the face of the strike. Her side gained a lead on the scoreboard when she calmly approached the free throw line and made both of her technical shots. Even while the impact would have shaken any player, Clark turned it into motivation, causing her to play even harder as the game went on. Caitlin Clark demonstrated why she is one of the WNBA's rising talents during the Chicago Sky vs. Indiana Fever game. Clark sees charge right away, slicing through opponents with ease and making big baskets. Her ability to create opportunities for her teammates was evident as she not only scored, but also set them up with accuracy. Aaliyah Boston was essential in this, helping Clark's shots and setting up screens that gave her just enough room to perform her distinctive moves. The tension of the game increased minute by minute as the fever led by Clark's unwavering drive. There was no denying the physicality on the floor as both sides fought ferociously for possession. In addition to her scoring prowess, Clark's court vision and calculated plays kept the Fever's offense clicking. The player's tension increased as she directed the game, creating the ideal environment for a fiercely competitive and intense competition. Every move Clark made elicited a response from the audience, creating an exciting environment throughout the arena. The game became more physical and strategic, particularly since Clark was the main man leading the Fever's attack. Aware of her influence, the Chicago Sky increased their defensive pressure, which resulted in more physical plays and a building sense of suspense for what might happen next. Both teams were totally committed to a fight of wills and skills, and the game was close. Angel Reese attempted to block Caitlin Clark during a stressful point in the game, but her arm hit Clark in the head, causing controversy. After reviewing the play and determining that the collision was more severe than initially reported as a common foul, the referees increased the call to a flagrant one. But is that really flagrant? Clark took the hit, but he didn't lose his cool. He moved to the free throw line and made the technical shots with ease. Clark seemed to be inspired by this encounter and used it as inspiration to step up her game even more. Conversely, Reese persisted in playing with aggression, but her physical approach started to suffer. She picked up several fouls fast, which led to her being injured for a portion of the match. Though her aggressive tactics resulted in more fouls, her tenacity on the field demonstrated the intensity of the rivalry and the high stakes on the court. This dramatic confrontation between Reese's forceful play and Clark's tenacity intensified an already intense rivalry. In the closing seconds of the game, Caitlin Clark took charge as it approached its climax. She made a crucial block and quickly turned it into a beautiful three-pointer that energized the court, showcasing her defensive skills. Clark around the screen, bounces underneath, Smith waits, and finishes. Ninth assist for Clark, Melissa Smith now with eight points. Clark wide open, gives it up. Mitchell in the corner. She got it on a three. Here's Allen. Off to Carter. Carter dumps it down. Cardoso finishes. Kennedy Carter's an outstanding scorer. Clark draws two. Whips it to Boston. Right back to Clark. Oh, good two-player action. And Boston cashes in. Here's Mitchell at three. It's good! Kelsey Mitchell making it rain, and Indiana has its largest lead. It's nine. Indiana on an 18-3 run as Clark directs traffic. Clark lobbing it in. What a find! And Boston the finish! A delectable dime from Caitlin Clark.
Wheeling behind Boston, trying to get it back to her. That one's deflected. Boston collects. Mitchell. You bet! And the foul! It's a fever rainstorm in Chicago. Into the corner. Katie Lou Samuelson off the mark on a three. Harrison the board. Mabry flings it down the floor. Reese. What a catch and finish! Angel Reese. 13 assists for Clark. Boston has 15 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists herself. Clark, a bomb is good! A logo 3! She not only led by example on defense, but she also directed play calling and rallied her troops at every turn. Clark gave an absolutely outstanding performance. She led the Indiana Fever to a close victory and filled the stat sheet with career highs in points, assists, rebounds, and blocks. Her capacity to perform well under duress and in pivotal situations demonstrated her development as a leader and player and solidified her place as the court's dominant force. What improvements do you think need to be made in, in late game situations to, to get you guys over this hump? Yeah, just being able to execute offensively and defensively. I think we could have did a better job being able to know the plays and run the plays as coach told us to run. And then um, when it comes to you know, Caitlin and Aaliyah, how tight do rotations have to be defensively to, to really defend that well? Um, just being able to make sure you're up to touch as opposed and then being able to help the guard as much as you can. Yeah, can you kind of, um, on the flagrant, did you feel like that? The basketball play. Yeah, did you feel like that was the appropriate call? or? It's the basketball play. I can't control the refs. They affected the game, obviously, a lot tonight. So, can't. But it did look at it, like you were going for I mean, I'm always going for the ball, but y'all going to play that clip, what, 20 times before Monday? So, it's cool. Well, we don't work in TV, so I'm, I'm not going to play <laughs> yeah. it anymore. But, um, I mean, but somebody, this clip going to get out somewhere. Yeah, I know. Sure. Side, you're correct, yes. Yeah, <laughs> you. Um, when it comes to this losing streak, how do you guys have to respond as far as coming together in these, in these moments? Yeah, I mean, pressure breaks pipes. I mean, either we're going to sink down and just continue to keep losing or we're going to do what it takes and figure out what, what to do to get better. Um, I think we just got to get back to the drawing board and figure things out. Hey, Joe, I'd like to get your assessment from the first half to the second half. Because the first half, you know, the cooking yeah. in the first half. What happened in that second half? I mean, for inside, I mean, I think we were playing really hard. Um, I think we went up really strong a lot of times and we didn't get a lot of calls and going back at looking at the film i've seen a lot of calls that weren't made i guess some people got a special whistle but just being able to play hard as best as we can um i'm still proud of camilla going on still getting a double double um and that's something y'all not gonna be able to stop the regardless of the referees like we're here for a while um we're not going to be denied it's, it's no matter what you guys can try to do but our goal is to win and we're going to do whatever it takes to win and continue to do that. There's been a lot of talk about um, the star power on both of these young teams. And as we saw, it was, you know, one possession game until the final couple minutes. Um, what do you think, how does that add to kind of the excitement between these two teams and, and the excitement of playing in a, in a game like this? Yeah, I mean, I guess another basketball game. I guess a lot of hype around the game, of course, but we're kind of honestly just here to play ball. Any more for Angel? Yeah, one more. Angel, so just I mean, obviously we talk a lot about the fact that you haven't lost a lot of games in your career. What do you do to kind of get your mind right? Just a tough stretch like this. I mean, yeah, it's tough. I'm not used to losing like this. Um, but either I'm going to be mad and sad about it or I'm going to get up and figure out what I can do better and look myself in the mirror and figure out what can I do better before, um, Thank you, before the next game to help the team. Angel Reese caused a stir following the game with her incisive remarks. She defended her behavior on the court, which many saw as unduly forceful, and criticized the officiating. These comments sparked arguments among supporters in the media, with the focus being on Reese's muscular play style against Caitlin Clark's capacity for composure and toughness under duress. Despite the commotion, Clark's influence grew. Her status as a rising star who is respected for her poise and skill was further cemented by her outstanding performance in the face of difficulty. How long are we going to witness this kind of rivalry in the WNBA? Comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more interesting WNBA analysis.